Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Nia Conley, I understand now what you're going through. Contact me if you want to be a part of Operation Takedown. Trust and believe, Operation Takedown, it is in full effect. Oh man, y'all better roll them up now. Because I'm about to go in on two goofy. You at random news. Bring your ass on here and I'm say it. Show you how random Don't just go in the chat room you and then just blow off at the mouth bitch. and stuff. If, if you if you really nigga, got some bitch. some important news to a say about this bitch. goddamn case, bring your ass on. <laughs> I had to do it. Welcome to episode 12. Ed Weirdo and Nia. Operation Takedown. A tale of two frauds. Just when we thought we saw the end of Ed Weirdo. Your boy came back, and this time he's goofier than ever because now he's striking channels and he's showing just how much of a thin skinned pussy he really is. And this time he teamed up with Lady Goofy to bring us some of the greatest content on the planet with a scheme that they cooked up called Operation Takedown, aka they're just gonna go around striking videos. But before we get to that, let's see what led us up to it. Now, when I first started covering Ed Weirdo, it was just to debunk his information. Because he says a lot of stupid shit like this. See, this is that hallway right there. Look at Kanika. She's kicking. Now this was an example of how he purposely misleads his audience. He knows full well it's not Kanika. This is the truth. And as you can see, this was just a hoax video made to go viral. And that's not Kanika Jenkins. Now either your boy Ed likes to just lie to his audience, or he's a complete dumbass. Either one works for me. But I bet you're wondering, why would somebody make something up like this? Well, why would somebody make something up like this? I talked about how Kanika Jenkins had to pull the, the broomstick, ramped up her ass. Yep, they did it. They ramped up her ass. See what I mean? You gotta be a real weirdo to even think up this sick shit. And I do have the video. Because I went on the dock for up and I found that thing. And just like the rest of the frauds, if you ask him to show you proof of that video, he'll give you every excuse in the book of why he can't show it to you. Because he's a moron and a liar. And then come to find out that the medical examiner put that in their report because that's what their findings was. And you can go look that up for yourself and see that he's full of shit. And if you ask him to show you proof of that report, just like that videotape he claims to have, you ain't never going to see it. But did anybody talk about that? Did you ever hear any YouTuber talk about that? Did you ever hear any Facebooker talk about that? No, you didn't. Yeah, because unlike this weirdo, the rest of the Goofies don't have sick imaginations like that. I mean, who thinks about somebody sticking a broomstick up somebody's ass? And if you think that's weird, check this bullshit out. Okay, I'll show you what happened. They took me, they bent me over. Okay, I don't like where this shit's going. They had me down me up, had a belt around my neck, and they stuck a rod up me. They stuck it back here. Ah! Why you do me this way? Hmm. Oh, get, get over here. Oh, oh. And this is why I call him Ed Weirdo, because this is not normal behavior. Wake up! Oh no! Teddy is gone! Oh! Teddy is gone. Now, watching a grown ass man simulate sticking a pole up a bear's ass wasn't weird enough for you. So, watch how disturbing it is the way he talks around his little kid. And trust me, this shit is weird. Like Fuck also, you. you Fuck you. And don't forget, there's like an eight year old kid sitting right next to this dude. You done tried to fuck me in the ass? Okay. You got me real good. You got it all greased down and everything. You came up my ass so hard and heavy, baby. See, that's a bunch of weirdo information that we, nor his kid, who's sitting right next to him listening to the SpongeBob, needed to know. So hard and heavy, you had me in a goddamn submissive pro. Now, if as a grown ass man, this idiot can't understand that he shouldn't talk this way in front of a kid, ever. Then what makes you think he has the mental capability to be trying to solve a case? You know that's what they do in prison, right? They fuck him in the ass, right? Put him over in submissive role. 
your boy sound like he talking from a place of experience. <laughs> Spread the cheeks and go right in like a train. One by one by one, coming in like a train. Woo-hoo! Chuka 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 chuka. Woo-hoo! You don't have to be that loud. Oh, it's gonna be loud. It's gonna be loud. It's gonna be very loud. This goofy really just said that shit to his own kid. You really shouldn't leave weirdos like this around children. Come closer. Let me tell you something. You messed with the wrong person. Who? Me? <laughs> His kid's probably like, who the fuck is this Goofy talking to? Now, I know what you're seeing so far is pretty sick. But nothing is as sick as what he just said in this chat right here. You got more water than me. Now, what we walked in on is your boy Edward fighting with one of the females in his chat. Because, you know, he only fights with females. Yeah, that weirdo really just said that shit. And the only people that are gonna think about a kid in that way is a pedophile. Yeah. Did you hear what you just said? I heard what I just said. Yeah, he made no mistakes on showing his pedophile tendencies. How did the child suck a dick here, uh, uh, Edward? How did the child do that? Well, the way that you do it. Sydney just said the way that you do it. Meaning he thinks about children in that way. Lord Jesus! Yeah, don't forget. For the record, I'm a minister. Yeah, no doubt the type that you see getting drug out of the church in handcuffs. Now that you got a quick refresher on how much of a creep this dude is, we can come back to present day. Because your boy's been doing some creepy shit. Like the shit you're about to see in this video. Let me show y'all just how sick this man is. He is hiding in the landscape around the corner of his job in the landscaping, watching my live and talking on his live about it with nobody in his live. Now I heard people use the term being in the bushes when they're on live stream, but this is the first time I've ever seen somebody actually going live from the bushes. <laughs> Casey, coming to get you. Casey, coming to get you. I mean, really, can you imagine driving past and seeing this weirdo hiding in the bushes yelling at a cell phone? <laughs> but that weird shit happened later on when he went live. And this shit is fucking creepy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Edward Joseph and Let's Talk Live. Sarah's daughter socks it like a child. Yeah, your boy's on here thinking about little kids sucking on things again. And he decided to make a whole live about a six-year-old being molested. Because, you know. For the record, I'm a minister. He had a type that you definitely don't want to leave your kids around. People's parents' daughter socks it like a child. And it is crazy people's. I heard on last night that Lisa Love and Nia Conley had literally posted the picture of the coach. Because you know, that's what adults do when they want to get back at people. Why not just post something that tragically happened to a little kid so that way the little kid can see it and relive all the memories. I mean, you gotta be a real sick individual to even want to bring up child molestation in the first place. But you know, that's what these YouTubers do. He was the one who had his daughter how to play softball. And remember, this dude talking about something that happened to a six-year-old. And she put her socks on. And she socked it like a child. Now, he's had a bunch of other sick shit in his live that I'm not even going to play because it's absolutely disgusting. But later on, he went live. And a lot of people weren't happy about that. Hey, seeing all them, they get pissed off because I'm talking about her daughter. Now you gotta ask yourself why a grown ass man in his 50s is on here talking about anybody's daughter at all. Hello, Miss Garcia. How are you, ma'am? It's a blessing to see you on today. It ain't no blessing. 
So you like talking shit on a six-year-old getting raped, huh? Yeah, she don't sound too happy at all right now. You a think that's okay? A, a six-year-old getting raped? Who got raped? Uh, you're talking about that little girl, you dumb fuck. The girl you're talking about was six years old, you stupid motherfucker. It's not like she was 20 or 47. You're a grown-ass man talking about a six-year-old who was sexually assaulted, and you think that's okay? Sad thing is, this weirdo really does think that that shit's okay. Well, Why are you we coming for Cassie's daughter like that? I don't understand that shit. Ma'am, that's what I don't ma'am, understand. Ma'am, 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 we ma'am, don't ma'am, put ma'am. babies in our... See, here we go again. All right. People, should I give them one more time or should I just block her ass right now? What, what you guys think? Because I gave her opportunity and it seems like the little bitch ain't gonna stop not here. Let me get her fuck out of here. All right, baby, get out of here. Don't you love it when these frauds talk all that shit and then they invite you to that panel to confront them and then when you do, they block you? What a goofy. Who gives a fuck? Because I mean, hell, wasn't my child that got raped. I'm sorry. But really, who gives a fuck? For the record, I'm a minister. Of the church of weirdos and latter-day goofies. <laughs> but you still disregarding the fact that a child that was six years old was raped. Okay, so so my question to you is this. Mm-hmm. How, how, how was she raped? What type of pedophile shit is that that you would even ask that question? Why would you even want details on how a six-year-old was raped? This dude is a fucking weirdo. She what was raped. The question is that. She was raped. I don't understand your question. Rape is rape. What type of rape are you looking for? Yeah, I'm sure his last victim can tell you exactly what type of rape he's looking for. To go ask Teddy. <laughs> Why is that of importance? He want to know all the specifics. Specifics. He wants to know. Well, what I want. He to definitely know. is looking for specific, specific, so he can know. He's, He's weird. How she was raped. Right, Amber, it should you know, never matter how she was raped. A rape is a rape. Something any normal person would get. But we're talking about a guy that literally tossed his way in front of his kid. How do you make a whole Ma'am, live okay. about someone's Bye. child being raped? Goodbye. Funny how every time somebody asks him that specific question, he blocks him. You know, I'm just trying to figure out what, what was the... But I'm not understanding what you're trying to figure out. What is the reasons for trying to figure anything out? Do you care? Because you said three times you did not care. Well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. Now, now, does she know this person? Or because I, what, what I'm trying to figure out so is... You're is just, so in other words, in, in all reality, you're just being nosy. You are curious to know but you don't have a care. You don't care about the child being raped at all. But you do want to know how she was raped. You want a description of how she was raped. Yeah, because this weirdo is sick in the fucking head. And so it was because of what you, what Casey and what all of your other motherfucking nefarious people do, it's why I do what I do. And that's why I don't give two fucks if her daughter got raped. I said that the, the nigga should have just hung the bitch by her head and slapped her around. And remember, he talking about a six-year-old kid. Now, does that sound egregious? Does that sound crazy and stuff? Very well may be so. But does it hurt her? Hell yes, it does. For the record, I'm a minister. I finally got something that got the bitch attention. But see, ain't nobody else doing it but Edward Joseph. Yeah, he's the only one doing it because he's a sick fuck. Even though a lot of people don't like Cassie on here, even they aren't sick enough to go out of their way to do something like this. I'm fit to put this, put the put the brakes on this bitch. So I finally got something that literally touches her to the core. And that's her daughter. I'm glad that I finally got something that I can um hold over Casey's head and make the bitch get mad and make the bitch feel some type of way. And you would think that this so-called man of God slash minister would turn the other cheek, you know, like Jesus. But just like Candace Starr, your boy's a fraud. So now, about her daughter, I don't give two fucks about her daughter. I'm glad that her daughter got her ass beat. 
Now, needless to say, most of the people that heard that live were completely disgusted by it, and most of them weren't happy at all. And one of them sent some information to Cassie that shed a little light on your boy Ed. Check this shit out. There's a link at the top of the chat, and there's a banner scrolling across the bottom of the screen. If you go there, and you type in the name, Amongst other things, this is what you're going to see. Now, I'm not showing his name, and that's why I'm asking y'all to go there. So that way he can't get me for privacy. Yeah, that shit right there don't look good at all for your boy. But it explains a lot. He was given probation. I don't know what they call it in California. In Texas, they call it deferred adjudicated probation. Which means if you do everything you're supposed to do as far as taking the classes and whatever and get the counseling whatever dot your eyes cross your t's then you don't have to go to prison now once your boy saw that he decided to go full goofy and go live with a scheme he liked to call operation takedown and when i saw the title my nefarious emojis started going crazy <laughs> well just know that operation takedown is in full effect and that's all that i'm saying yeah, he shouldn't even have said that because he sounds goofy as fuck <laughs> And so we're going to do a little thing for little different people. You know what, Joseph, I've always got things up my sleeve. And so that's what it's going to be, people. So we're just going to see. I got things up my sleeve and we're just going to do a little things different. Oh, he definitely had something up his sleeve. But to pull it off, he needed a little help. And Nia Conley, I understand now what you're going to do. Contact me if you want to be a part of Operation Takedown because it is happening, peoples. <laughs> now, you know you're desperate when you're calling Nia for help, but it's only part of his bigger plan. But since we just did a video on the cocaine cowgirl, let's go over and check up on her and see what she's been up to. This motherfucker said if you see a line of coke before you go live, sniff that shit then. Who gonna stop you? <laughs> Oh God, Lord Jesus, hold on, y'all. Either your girl's having a bad reaction to the nose candy, or something just scared the shit out of her. What? Y'all don't hear that? Yeah, I don't hear that. You don't hear them shooting, my nigga? I'm just sorry, I just had to get on the floor, y'all. They is literally right here in front of my building. I need to get out of Chicago. I'm tired of this shit here. Yeah. And you would have thought she would have moved a long time ago. You know, since. We got big money over here. I drink on white Hennessy. Imported. Bitch from Spain. Us. Come let them know how much money we got flowing through the family. Let them know about these billion dollar businesses. These billion dollar companies that we work for. The hell? What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm stupid. They shooting, Rachel. That was shooting? Yes. Shit, I'm sure after that, your girl was like. Wow! Wow! Damn. Y'all heard it on the live, loud and clear. She's saying that shit like y'all just got an exclusive. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck. Now look. Don't worry about Nia, she's fine. None of the bullets came to her house. This was just an average shooting that happens in Chicago every day of the week. But she's a J for pair. And you know how they are. Once anything happens, they have to turn it into something bigger than what it is and make it all about themselves. Now once everybody on YouTube saw that happen live, they all went looking up information about the shooting to see what really happened. And luckily for us, Chloe had a police scanner and everybody was able to see exactly what happened that night. The shooting being called in at and then you got this blue dot which is where a donkey lives i say it like that so here's the audio from the radio scanner just that channel so that way to be clear and you'll hear this address right here let me see Unit 
Now since the shooting happened a little over a block away from her house, Nia was never really in any danger at all. But when she saw this live, she came up with a whole entire scenario on why people were really shooting outside of her house. And it was just as crazy as the rest of her stories. The way I see it, and bitch, I know you listening, because you seem to want to know my every motherfucking move. But today, you gonna get it, and you ain't like how I'm finna serve it to you. I promise you, you not. So motherfuckers out here shooting in front of my house, mysteriously. Again, there's nothing mysterious about a shooting happening in Chicago. It's an everyday thing. And ain't nobody on the street. You got a scanner, bro? One, if somebody was shooting, there's no way that they're gonna stay in the area. And two, anybody can just download a police scanner app from the app store. Why do you got a police scanner? And you all the way in Florida. Make it make sense. I mean, did somebody just make a law saying you needed to be in a certain state to have a police scanner? <laughs> you want me? Supposed to be just Come get me. <laughs> I don't even got a joke for that. Bitch, you say I ain't about that life. Uh-oh, your girl's about to go ultra goofy. <laughs> Look, you hoes want me. I'm, I'm in my I'm big boogie I'm voice. Bring that ass to me. Evidently, last night you couldn't get close enough. Now <laughs> she's trying to make it out like Chloe was outside of her house shooting. <laughs> you see this t-shirt? That's what y'all is. Y'all some Tom and Jerry ass bitches. Y'all some Tom and Jerry ass bitches. I'm telling you, she really needs to pay somebody to write her some better insults. This is the thing. This is where you fucked up at. Explain to your people how you moving my camera. My camera. My camera. On my fucking laptop, bitch. Explain it now. <laughs> oh, man. I can explain it to you. And you're going to love this shit. Because her and the rest of the people in her chat are morons. See, she's talking about this video right here. Now, what you're looking at is the recording of Nia's live when the gunshots went off. And Chloe's sharing the screen. And anybody's ever using stream recording programs know you can pan and zoom on the screen to show your audience whatever you're trying to show them. But your girl Nia is so paranoid off of that that she believes that Chloe is actually controlling her webcam. And nobody in the audience even came up to her and told her she sounds like an idiot. What a goofy. Who's the stupid bitch? Um, I think we just established that. <laughs> I got gr my grandbabies in this motherfucking house, so you motherfuckers really tried to aim at me, huh? Her camera, who this bitch? Oh, she in Pensacola? Oh. Yeah, she in Pensacola. So she left Pensacola, went to Chicago, shot at Nia's house, then made it back home in time to go live. <laughs> this woman is goofy. Mm, but mm, you think mm. you, you think you funny? But you ain't gonna tell the world that your little, your little blood relative Franz Cabe, the fake security guard that was at the Crown Plaza Hotel when you know they all claim that Kanika died at, but we know she died before the hotel. But your little nasty blood relative stuck his little nasty dick in her. We know that. <laughs> that was most definitely the drug talking. Now she's trying to make Chloe out like she related to people that work in the hotel. This shit is too much. <laughs> Or the fact that Chloe O'Bara, we got you. Or the fact that we got you red-handed on camera. And now she got Chloe at the hotel. <laughs> this woman is crazy. You wanna, you wanna drop receipts? Let's drop receipts. Cause let's tell the world how that shoe standing at that front counter. At telling Teresa you seen her daughter on the 12th floor. Mm. Ain't that you walking off with her? <laughs> now Chloe with Teresa Martin. Now you can believe that bullshit. But just know you'll be listening to the words of a crackhead, y'all. Let, let's let's play. Because you know it's a lot more dirt out there on you, Cassie. You know it ain't hard for me to find. Because you know we can give you them, them nine drug conviction cases you got. Your girl just said that shit like a B-movie supervillain. And you would think she would have had a classier glass to drink her. White Hennessy. Imported. Bitch from Spain. Instead of that dollar store plastic wine glass. <laughs> we got big money over here. <laughs> I told that bitch, I was like, they let me on just like this. I was like, 
why the fuck you put Nadia's address on, on YouTube? He was like, what are you talking about? I was like, I will fuck you up, bitch. <laughs> Life ain't been good to your boy MC Search at all. Because he just showed up with a gas face. <laughs> I said, I will have all you motherfuckers hit, you fucking clowns. <laughs> He's going to have people hit. Your boy look like a thumb with glasses on. She's on your ball sack hanging like this. I'm talking about that mother. Swinging. She want to see, she hey, wanna see what my nut tastes I'm like. I'm on nice ball sack. Look at me. She want to come taste. She want to see what my nut tastes <laughs> Let's all congratulate MC Search over here for being the corniest motherfucker on YouTube. So now you see that your girl Nia just been up to her old bullshit. Let's get back to Operation Takedown. Because this shit's about to be hilarious. So spark up. You see, later on that night, Nia went live again. And this time, she was armed with some information that Ed gave her. It just didn't turn out too good for her. And Operation Takedown turned into Operation Goofy. You know, me and Edward, we don't see eye to eye in a lot of things. But you know, we do have what you call, oh, I missed you too, little bro. The live just started. Your girl can't stay on topic. <laughs> Putting people's personal business out and Edward, excuse me for saying this. I'm not trying to put your business out there like that, but I don't like what I seen on Facebook today. Your girl's upset because Ed got outed as a predator on Facebook, but she's perfectly okay with him talking about a six-year-old being molested. So Cassie, Chloe, whatever you want to call yourself, do your friends really know who you are? Do they really know what you're capable of? Do they really know what you're up to? Cause I'm gonna start off with this one right here and then I'm gonna get into some other things. You see, Ed went and looked up Chloe's background and gave it all to Nia. And you know, when Nia gets mad and she says stuff like- Putting people's personal business out. You know, like she's so much against doing that. But then she proceeds to do just that. A person, no matter what a person do it, you know what I'm saying? A person is allowed a second chance at life, regardless as to what they've done or what somebody think they've done or maybe they're not reading everything correctly and just want to put out there what they want to put out there. And now she's sitting here defending Ed and all of his nefarious pedal charges. So Edward, somebody had put up on Facebook, if I'm not mistaken, it was Debbie, if I'm not mistaken, Edward, that asked the question, what happened to you and Nine on, on September? Uh, 1998. I mean, we would all love for Ed to come on here and explain himself about Whatever. what happened back then. But just like the rest of the frauds, he ain't gonna do none of that shit. He just gonna do goofy shit like this. No, that's what I'm getting ready to get to right now, Edward. That's the thing I'm getting ready to get to right now. Your boy Ed got pissed because he didn't want to talk about that shit at all. She needs to stick to the script. Exactly. Well, I'm gonna just say this here. If people, you know, since people want to go look people up and feel like they know about somebody else's personal life, if y'all really seen and read the paperwork, it said false imprisonment. Yeah, there's three other charges up there that your girl conveniently ignoring. Because then she would have to admit that she's defending a chomo. And do y'all actually believe that this man raped her, her daughter, only one? Only one time? I mean, because I doubt that very seriously. Now, what you're looking at is the face of a whole goofy. This dumbass didn't realize that she was being set up from the start by Ed. You see, what she didn't know is that when she was live, Ed went on his page and deleted all those videos. You know, the ones of him talking about a six-year-old being molested. And then he went and gave Nia all his information so she could play it on her channel. So his channel wouldn't get struck. He just needed this goofy to be the patsy and take the fall. <laughs> See, this is why 54 Keys had had Gracie to do her dirty work because she did not want her channel to be tainted with all of that madness so she don't be stricken. That was smart. That was a play out of a playbook that I have learned. I've, I've looked at her and I saw how she navigated that and she made the boy do her bidding. And I was like, you know something? That 54 boy, I have to give her credit. I have to shake that woman's hand because now his channel has gotten stricken as well. So Operation Takedown is in full effect, peoples. It sure is. And this dumbass sitting over here defending the pedo is playing her part perfectly. <laughs> in June, you said what happened in June 22? You talking about the little fake video that y'all sent around claiming I was snorting coke? 
Yeah, that shit was real as a motherfucker. <laughs> Kayla, I should get off the internet and get proper help. Which is actually some pretty sound advice that she should probably take. You should get off my chat and go get you some proper motherfucking help. What you mean? We not threatening nobody. She might want to go tell MC Search that. I said I will have all you motherfuckers hit, you fucking clowns. <laughs> oh, hold on. I got you, Edward. I got you. What's good, fam? What's good? Does anybody else find it completely creepy that this dude's avatar is Kanika Jenkins? What a weirdo. So let me go and drop this freestyle real quick. Freestyling. Now this shit done turned into 8 Mile. But if you like it, you can pick your copy up on the next P. Rico mixtape. <laughs> bitches all while standing in them trenches had some pull up, not to mention got them bitches needing stitches. Cause y'all made this my intentions. You bitches need attention. You bitches think y'all tough, I see, but all you do is hate on me. Looking like some wannabes. What you bitches trying to be? Hopefully not a 45-year-old woman trying to kick off a rap career. <laughs> Cause you can't be me. I don't think anybody could be wishing that bad luck on themselves. I mean, fuck. <laughs> I'm finna get a Grammy on these bitches. What she meant to say was grimy. Like that shirt she'd been wearing for four fucking days. <laughs> I gotta go pee on that note. I'll be right back, y'all. I got I gotta use the bathroom. That motherfucker says it's tight of How you just gonna walk off on the live stream? <laughs> what a goofy. <laughs> I'm gone. Where you at, random news? Oh man, looks like we just been invaded by aliens again. <laughs> You, I'm gonna show you how random you is. You liver lip mouth ass bitch. Big grumpy head ass bastard. You over here coming at a fucking woman. And you supposed to be a whole My nigga. Dear. You's a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> Edward. You know this your stage just like my stage is your stage, little bro. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna age too well. And yeah, she is using her fingers to eat ice cream. Yeah, I just need, you know, Elva Joseph, I need to find out what's going on. You know, because Queen, that's my little sis. That, that, that's, that's real family. What's going on? What, I heard you disrespected my sister. You know, Queen Sabrina, that's my sister in real life. And at this point, you should be like three blunts in. And you're going to be real happy because the shit show's about to start. I ain't trying to come at you sideways or nothing like that. But, you know, if you if you disrespect her, I'm going to need an apology. Yeah, I hope she ain't holding her breath waiting on an apology from that goofy. Because we all know how he loves to disrespect women. He said all right. he disrespected his wife. But I'm, I'm going to go on mute. I'm going to let y'all discuss that. Y'all two men, I'm going to I was, I was doing what again? You don't remember when you uh, disrespected my wife on the live that night? Yeah, I don't think Ed put this in his plan when he came up with Operation Takedown. <laughs> okay, well, your wife was disrespectful on my chat. All she do, all she did was make a point. What point was this? About you being disrespectful and people not being able to uh, give their their opinions on your on your panel without uh being attacked. Yeah, and they knew all this shit before they decided to take up for this goofy. <laughs> but she had to be all kind of bitches and hoes and all of this shit. No, and then there again, when you're on my panel, what I say goes. Whoa, 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 No, that don't go. That don't go with me, Claire. Well, I mean, it, it goes with me, my friend. Yeah, I definitely don't think that what the help Ed was looking for. <laughs> you called her bitches and hoes? Well, I mean, that's, like that's I said, not, ain't no, 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 ain't no will. Because well, I, I mean, if 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 I'm not gonna, if I'm not gonna, either be able you're to, gonna apologize. Either no, you're I'm not gonna apologize. apologize. You're I'm not. not so what apologize. the fuck you get up here for? Exactly. Well, because what you caught coming up here. Well, I know it's entertaining all of us. <laughs> because you because called me up here. My purpose too. of bringing you up here was to apologize, and not only do you owe her. Well, an don't apology, think that I'm gonna apologize, owe... ma'am. Well, I'm sorry oh, if you well, think I was gonna bye. apologize. Damn, looks like the only person getting taken down in this operation is Ed. <laughs> you got Drop it. the load, then. Drop that location. Cause I'm on your ass, nigga. Cause you ain't gonna play with mine. At this point, I think he already did. That's why he's so mad right now. 
I'll send somebody that you have no idea what they look like and pop up at that fucking grocery store you be at all the time, player. You fucking with the wrong one. And all that King Von Silk panty shit, I got something for that too. <laughs> he said King Von Silk panties. <laughs> Let's play ads playing with him and his wife at this point. Pull these panties down so I can slap you with this dick. Puss ass boy. Man, pause, my dude. That shit was suspect as fuck. <laughs> you talk all that shit about women all the time, man. But when a man steps to you, you ain't got shit to say. Yeah, I've been waiting. I've been waiting to get catch your motherfucking ass outside of your panel. And I can't wait to catch your ass in person so I can knock the rest of your fucking teeth out your mouth. Don't worry. This is just for entertainment. None of these people are ever going to leave from behind their computers to fight each other. <laughs> What was you I saying? I don't give a fuck about no police or none of that. What Straight up. Saying, sir? No, why you what was you saying? Why man, you, you heard what the fuck I said, man. Drop the no, location. Know, That's I what I said. We can that. talk in person. I saw your name and I was like, why is you over here? Because first of all, let me tell you something. You disrespect me and call me a bitch, but that's okay because your mama bitch. Your sister bitch, your daughter bitch. Yeah, your dead mama yeah, that's bitch. Okay because you, you're a little bitch. You know, you don't ever come on my oh, panel. No, no. <laughs> it's a lot of bitches on this panel right now, isn't it? <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah, you get see, your bitch see, ass yeah. off my panel with that bullshit, bro. I'm going to get your ass. Don't invite me on my panel. Don't invite me on your panel you. if you're I'm going to allow these people to talk about me. You a little bitch. Your boy ass sound like an angry Hank Hill. <laughs> I'm a bitch. You feel like you might just want to say your mama. Go for 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 your mama. Drop the location, you tough. You need to take Your tough ass. Drop the location. No, I, I was talking about them. Motherfucker, yeah. you can't fuck with a poster. At the end of the day, nigga, did you not hear me just say that's my family, nigga? And by family, she means stranger she met on the internet. <laughs> Well, I don't give a fuck if that's your family. Fuck your family you, can't do bitch. shit. Well, get the your fuck family you, can't you do shit. Your family can't do shit. Your family can't do shit. You can call a woman and bitch. You a banana you know, pussy ass nigga. Do you do a shit. banana pussy ass nigga in real life. This real beef. This ain't no you fake beef right here. This real beef right here, nigga. You weird. This real beef right here, nigga. She's a bitch. She's a bitch. Yeah, your boy ass sticking to his gun on playing with your boy's wife. She's you a, a bitch. She's a little bitch. You's a you bitch. You's a pussy ass bitch. I'll a pussy ass bitch. Dick in the book. Oh, so now she thinks he's a pedo. Because before she wouldn't even bring those charges up, right? Y'all really seen and read the paperwork. It said false imprisonment. But now she's showing what she really thought about him. Because she thought he was a pedo all along. But she hates Chloe so bad that she teamed with a pedo just to get back at her. <laughs> Fuck Go no, fiends. Go fiends. She fucking is, ass. She's a bitch. You you right your mama a bitch. Damn. Your boy Ad on here playing with Vaughn's wife like she was a PS5. <laughs> your mama a bitch. Yes, I'm going, to, I'm going to continue to sit here and disrespect her and stuff because of the simple fact that you can't even stand up on your phone to allow um, people to talk to you. I bet you won't step outside that car and talk that shit. How about, I bet you these two women I really don't fucking care if this is your family or not, but the bitch needs to be disrespected. And the funniest part is that these are all grown ass people who are never going to meet each other in real life. <laughs> Don't be surprised if this motherfucker don't see no. Don't be surprised if you don't see this motherfucker on this panel. And that was Kaniko. King Von Pennies, who gives a fuck about you? <laughs> At this point, I was on the floor crying watching this shit. You gonna give a fuck once I catch you? Because you, well, well, you gonna give a fuck when I catch you? You gonna give a fuck when I catch you? Boy, I knock your goddamn shit out. Bring it on, bitch. <laughs> He's still calling that man so panties. <laughs> Bring that shit on, bitch. Drop that location, you pussy ass motherfucker. Drop that You're supposed to be pastor. You're pussy and your mama's a pussy. Can you imagine how crazy they look to the rest of the people in their households? Yelling at a computer screen. <laughs> Quit trying to shit 
share the word. Hey, you a mama boy, you whole ass motherfucker. Suck my you dick. No she can suck my anaconda. You ain't. Now you see why we call him Ed Weirdo. <laughs> All you gotta do is drop the city you in. Just drop the city you in. You ain't even gotta drop your address. King you ain't even gotta drop your address. King on pennies. Shut the fuck up. Man, I'm sure that comment right there is about to get your boy Vaughn's panties all in a bunch. <laughs> hey, 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 you a cook, man. Your mama. You a cook. Your mama. You don't get no pussy. You your mama. <laughs> and now he's playing with your boy's wife and his mother. This shit is crazy. No, I know Edward ain't calling nobody a dope fan. He hey, fucked dope fiends. He fucked dope fiends. I know you ain't according calling nobody to, a dope According fiend. to his boyfriend, Brace, he fucked, no, he fucked dope fiends. Yeah, yeah, home was dope fiends. And the crazy part about it, when he got outed for doing it, he came in the chat and admitted to having the tape of him doing it. <laughs> What's that beating on the window at night? When he got mad when they going live? It's because he goes down and he feeds the homeless people in, in his city in, in California. And he invites them back to his house to take a shower and have sex with him in payment for using the shower. That's a weak man. Yeah. What the hell is going on? So he can show Edward the lies or he admits that it's a man who loves to disre. He Thank needs to Like I said, your boy adds a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Oh, you had the most I, 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 I have regardless to do shit. Right or I'm wrong. not going to apologize to regardless you. Regardless, no right or wrong, no, all you, you had me, to you do was be a man up. and apologize. I bet you will apologize. I bet you will apologize. All I have to do is nothing. I bet you will apologize. I bet you will apologize. Yeah, you will, though. You will, though. If you was in my face, you would. Well, I hope he's not holding his breath for that apology since they're never going to be face to face. <laughs> you fucking pedophile. You a pedophile, man. Yeah, I know. Your mama too, hey, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Everybody make sure they say that all you want. All right. I'm on your ass, bro. Hey, this bitch recording. Yeah, get yeah, your so faggot ass on, you pussy ass motherfucker. And anybody that listen and follow that fool, you a pedophile too. So what do they call themselves since his whole live was done just to take up for ad and help defend them? Correct me if I'm wrong. Bomb ass motherfucker. The whole purpose of this live was to help defend who? A fucking weirdo, that's who. <laughs> Just like the, the rest of them. The on Facebook calling him a pedophile, nigga. They got your shit all over the place. But I, me, like a goofy. Made her hatred for somebody else. Make her go live and make herself look like an idiot for defending a pedo. Always trying to be nice. Trying to take up for a motherfucker and help a nigga. This the thanks I get. The question that needs to be asked is why this goofy would try to help somebody knowing full well she saw these charges all over Facebook. My whole purpose of doing this live, y'all. What, other than making a complete fool out of herself? What's to help this stupid motherfucker? He a clown. Well, if he's a clown, what do you call a dumbass who came out here and tried to defend him? Get your I dream of sweet Jesus booty ass the fuck on somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that one was funny. Talking sexual about a dead child. Something is wrong with people, man. It's, it's something wrong with this motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the only person I know in the in the community that sits up and talks about things that happen to Kanika. This motherfucker's in a to sexual mood, and you over here trying to figure out. And people they, still listen to this fool. How did they have her laying when they sodomized her? That's some sick ass shit, bro. And her big round teeth and all that. He is so fucking weird, bro. And again, knowing all of this about this dude, they were all still willing to team up with him just to fuck with Chloe. <laughs> what a bunch of goofies. All he gonna do is go back to his panel and talk crazy. Yeah, you ain't even gotta be Candace Star to predict that. Because that's exactly what your boy did. She crazy she think I'm gonna apologize. She, she's stupid for that. No, she's stupid for a lot of reasons. The main one being she tried to support a pedo. <laughs> See, the, the very thing that she was supposed to have been doing, now it changed. They came in, they shook it up, and they made her look stupid. Yeah, Mary, you missed quite a bit. Now all they're gonna do is just take all of this video footage and stuff, and they're gonna talk about it and make her look even more stupid. I wonder who you could be talking about, because I would never do something like that. 
people said care. I was angry. Like, these, these people can can call me pedophile. They can call me whatever they want and stuff. But when you motherfuckers come over here threatening it, my kids and my grandkids, it ain't going to stop me, me one bit. I'm still going to have my channel. I'm still going to be talking. I'm still going to be doing the things yeah, that I'm wrong. doing. And all of you Negroes is still going to be sitting in the um in the bushes watching me. Yeah, everybody keep watching to make a fool out of himself, like this goofy. Cause he's a bitch. We gonna just add some anal beads. Since he like, since he, he, he you, you, you like playing with people's booty holes. Again, charges she was willing to overlook as long as she was able to get back at Cassie. What a goofy. One second, y'all. I'll be right back. I need something to drink. Think about the laugh of. Looks like your girl got out of there just in time. Cause Bill Murray showed up to get revenge on the shit she was talking about him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. So once Operation Takedown turned out to be a shit show, your boy Ed decided to go to Plan B, and he just stayed up all night flagging videos, and then went live the very next morning claiming some type of victory, as if anybody really gave a fuck. Check this shit out. Operation Takedown was a success. Yeah, just like that comment, as you'll see and see, your boy's completely delusional. I have taken down a video and there's more to come. Trust and believe, I've always win. What does he mean he always wins? This is fucking YouTube. The only thing your boy would win is YouTube's award for thinnest skin. Now you want to use my image to try to make your little parodies you wanted to use my image to try to make fun of me, but peoples, that is all right. Using my image always comes with consequences, peoples. Yeah, you might scare the shit out of somebody, give them a straight heart attack. I <laughs> see peoples, that of what happened last night with Nia Conley, well, let's just say she had a meltdown. No, more like they completely shit on this clown and fucked up his plan. <laughs> and so because you've been nefarious and hilarious, I just sit back and laugh. I don't even get upset no more. I just sit back and laugh. What is this clown talking about? If he didn't get upset, he wouldn't be striking channels, right? There is all this thing that's called cyberbullying. And so I can take down every last post that every person has ever made. But I don't want to go that route, peoples. I mean, other peoples is doing it. <laughs> See what I mean about him being delusional? He's literally on here bragging about striking pages. Nia Conley, they, her own people have used her to make her look like a fool last night. And I tried to tell her. I tried to tell you, man. You know, why you going in all on me and things, which is fine. I don't care because it's not hurting me one bit. You can call me all of these different names as much as you want, Mel. But you're the one who's looking like a fool. Man, now this clown got me defending Nia. Even though Nia's a clown, she ain't thin-skinned enough to go striking channels like this pussy. Random news. Strike. KC. Strike. Um, Brazy. Strike. Strike all of them. Got it taken down. They got to strike up against them now. Yep. And then anybody else who wants to make parodies of Everett Joseph, strike. Now look, if Everett strikes your channel, don't get mad about it. Thin skin is a serious condition, and it plagues a lot of people on YouTube. A lot of them suffer from it, and we really need to give them some help, because they can't take a fucking joke. <laughs> Yeah, Colin, she's worried about what everybody say on Facebook and YouTube and all like that. Well, I don't look at all of that madness. I just block you people. And I just go on and continue to do what I do. Because at the end of the day, when they are blocked, they can't use my content. <laughs> then I guess this must be one of those reenactments that Rosemont like to come up with. <laughs> See, people, I have learned that I am the new internet sensation. The very new internet sensation. Now, while your boy was on here taking this false victory lap, lying to his subscribers for like 40 minutes, I was on my channel just re-uploading the video. Because as you can see by the so-called strike he sent me, 
it doesn't really affect my channel at all. Because like most of my videos, they're all done under fair use and they're satire. Once YouTube saw that, they just re-uploaded it and they re-monetized it. And once your boy Ed Weirdo saw that, well, let's just say he wasn't too happy. <laughs> I've already stricken Casey Overa's page. She's got a strike. I've already got a strike up against Brazy. And I've already got a strike up against Random News. Random News still hasn't learned, but he'll soon learn because I got another report out on him to get him another strike. See what I mean? Just a fucking pussy. Only thing Ed does is yell at females. Cause at the end of the day, Ed just a lonely dude that sits in his house having sick rape fantasies about Kanika Jenkins. And when he's not having fantasies about it, he's acting it out on his teddy bears. Because he's a fucking weirdo. A downright creep that has six fantasies about little kids sucking on things. And he'll say the most vile shit to any female that comes across his panel. But as soon as somebody else comes up and starts standing up to him, and shows him how much of a straight up pussy he really is, all he's gonna do is run off and start striking channels because he's a fucking coward. A man child with thin skin and no life. So go ahead and strike this video, Edward, because YouTube's your life, not mine. I can just make another channel, no big deal. And I can assure you that this weirdo will go live tonight, no doubt bragging about striking this video. Why? I can be a straight bitch. You know what a bitch is? It's a female dog. So if you see this grown ass man who self identifies as a female dog, please tell him to get his panties out of a bunch and learn how to take a joke. <laughs> I mean, what what am I going to get mad for? What, I'm going to get mad because you talked about me? No, I'm, I'm not going to. Man, peoples, I'm not that hollow. Peoples, I am not that hollow. <laughs> and since we know he's not a man of his word, once he strikes this video, you'll see how hollow your boy really is. But that's where I'm going to end this episode. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. And I want to give a quick shout out to everybody that donated to the channel. Because you guys are the reason why the special effects and everything come out so good on the videos. And if you want to donate to the channel, you can hit that cash app in the description. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. This just crazy. Everything just went completely left. All because a motherfucker couldn't just be a man and apologize. Don't be surprised if you don't see this motherfucker on this panel. King Von Pennies, who gives a fuck about you? What in the hell is that? They shooting, Rachel.